Hello, thanks for being here. This is the back of the 4040 disk drive, and that is the IEEE cable connection. And hooking them up is not difficult. Basically, you find the end of the cable. It looks the same. This is goes on the back. You look for the configuration of the cable. It is kind of a, a, a D shape. So you get the cable, lines up, and it goes on. And that's about all there is to it. Now, you can, and it's not a bad thing, especially if things have been hooked up for a while, take, and most of them have the little screws, and the little screws are, are the things that are in there. It's not a bad thing to secure this because, you know, cables get pulled, things happen, and they could fry and come out. That is secure. So that is how they go. And when they talk about daisy chaining, well, that's when they say you're going to hook up a printer. So then you take another cable that looks a lot like the one you just put on, and you stick it on. And you can also Screw it in. Now I'm not screwing this one in nearly as far, but it should screw in to the connectors so that they are nice and secure and that all is well and good. And then this other end of the cable would go off to another connector like this on your printer or your modem or if you have some other device like that it would go there so that is how we call it daisy chaining and some people like to use the disk drive as the main hub and it would hook everything up here and i think i had a tendency but mostly because of course the cables are not always long enough if i had if i was going from the, the disk drive to a printer and i had a modem involved I would probably never have more than two of these on one device. First of all, it makes it longer, makes it harder to fit in. So I would go from the computer to the disk drive, to the printer, to the modem. Some people think, no, nope, this is like the junction thing. You gotta go from the computer to the disk drive, have the cable to the printer, have the cable to the modem, and whatever else sticking out the back of the one thing. Part of it depends on geography. Part of it depends on how long your cables are. Anyway, that is how we hook this up. I have to grab another pet and see what I can see. It may be that some of the uh, 6520 chips that I have put into um, the number five pet here Maybe there's trouble with that. I don't know. First thing I want to do is get the disk drive working with a cable talking to a computer. And then I can troubleshoot away by checking more cables and computers and maybe swapping chips, etc., etc., etc. Anyway, I have no doubt the disk drive works. And so I just want to actually see it work. It sounds good, and the pets look good, but just like anything, I say when they turn on a 64, just because the message comes up, it doesn't mean it's okay. It could be missing a SID chip. It could have troubles with, um, not complete failures, but subtle failures of other things. So, you never know, you know. Anyway, Thanks for being here. We'll get the Fat 40 up here and we'll see what we can see soon. Thanks for being here. Bye for now.